टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज फिशर गोल्ड स्कोप एस डी फाइव हंड्रेड टेन दिस इज अ कैरेट मीटर विच यूज इज एक्स रेज टू गिव एन एग्जैक्ट रीडिंग ऑफ द प्योरिटी ऑफ गोल्ड एंड अदर मेटल्स नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ टू यूज दिस मशीन दिस मशीन हैज टू पार्ट्स वन पी सी and the machine itself the carat meter on the left side of the machine this is the power cord power switch and there is a key actually that key is to turn on and off the x ray inside the machine that is the cooling fan now let's switch on the power switch we'll go to the pc and the software is already downloaded so we'll go to the icon and double click it it start loading it will take a while ha ah, now the software has opened here we can see the fisher logo actually there are so many functions but i'll just take you through the simple procedure how to measure the purity X-ray communication error it is showing because the X-ray is not on. So first we'll switch on the machine from the front. There is a power switch. And you can see one light where X-ray on. It is written. Uh, now I'll turn on the switch through the key, and now you can see that X-ray on light is blinking. This X-ray is not harmful to you in any ways. this is just to measure the purity of the gold it penetrates very less okay now again we'll start the software it will load now it has started and now you can see that the error message will not come this time and you can see on the left side of the screen there is a black color window that is actually the live view of the spot where we keep the ornaments inside the x-ray machine Let's open the extra machine. They give one small box to calibrate the extra machine. Now you can see the inside view how it looks. This is you see this little spot. This is the place where you keep the ornaments or metal, and the extra comes through this lens, this glass. It's not very clear. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Ah, now this box is to calibrate the machine. It contains two metals, two two pure metals, silver and copper. Okay, so ah, uh, we'll keep these two metals one by one. Two. As you can see on the screen, right now I have placed silver, which is which was showing on the screen. let's close the lid this knob is on the left side to put the metal in focus see you can i can reduce or increase the focus so you can adjust it as per your requirement ha huh? now it is in focus yeah you can see okay so it is a magnified view so yeah, you can see all the scratches on the metal okay now after that there are so many logos and icon on the screen so first you need to click on the left side there is a guy man icon in green color you have to click on that once you have clicked on that the software will start analyzing
will go in the menu screen go in general go to reference measurement then we'll start we'll do start reference click then the countdown will start it will measure measure the purity for 100 seconds once it is done it will ask us to keep the copper part then we'll open the lid of the machine and then we'll just turn it around and place copper on the glass from where the x-ray comes turn it around we'll see, your, see it on the screen okay and then we'll click okay and we will start the reference measurement this will also take 100 seconds once it is done a prompt message will come reference ok accept we will click ok now the machine is ready to test so we have taken a gold ornament we will place the gold part we will try to place it in the middle we can see the markings it is showing in the system so we will try to put it in the center then after that is done there is a button called start here the window will open we can change the, these all names are modifiable we can change the name as per our need then it will take around 30 seconds to measure the purity once it is done so you can see 92.8 percent is gold 2.1 percent is silver copper is 5 percent like that magnesium is 1.1 percent the last row that is the measurement of the gold we just put it inside now this is a silver ring sometimes it is difficult to place a ornament on the glass because it is such a small area and the sometimes the ornament doesn't stay in one place then we can use some tools or something to make it stable here I am using a clip, paper clip. So I will hold that ring in the paper clip and put it on the glass. In case of bigger ornaments, we can measure it at two, three places and arrive at an average. Close the lid, start the measurement. It will come at the last row. Now look at the last row, the gold is 0%, silver is 84%, copper is 9%, zinc is 6%, then magnesium is 1.2%. So basically we can measure the purity of any metal, means most of the metals in this machine. It will not only show copper, gold and silver, even zinc, magnesium, all these metals also it will show. What is the percentage? Now we have taken a key, just play. We'll place the key. It will take the measurements, which we can see now. So you can see there is no gold, silver, copper zinc it is 100 percent zinc and this tool is having 100 percent zinc so it can measure any metallic object the composition now we have taken a small stainless steel glass we have placed it on the top of the scope okay we'll start measuring it uh -huh. error it is not measurable Okay, some metal sometimes it won't measure so this one it is not showing we have taken a stapler pins let's see what it shows we have placed it on the top okay here we can see it on the screen we have started it takes about 30 uh, same error okay even this it cannot measure 
okay some metals it may not be able to measure okay that's it guys so i hope you find the video helpful okay now we have to turn off the machine uh, for turning off the machine first we have to turn off the x-ray okay for turning the uh, turning it off we have to turn the key the x-ray is switched off you can come in the front you can see the light has stopped now uh, the main power on off button we have to keep it pressed for two three seconds it takes some time then the machine will be switched off uh, after that we have to go back there is a switch at the back side that also we have to turn off Okay, now the machine is completely off and now if you want to shut down you can shut it down from the system that's all guys bye